Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showcasing the Galacticraft mod. Yeah, it's very loud for some reason. Yeah, today we're going to showcase the Galacticraft mod. Yeah, so what you need, I'm going to showcase how to create a space station. So yeah, so basically you have to right click on Earth. And it'll pop up this. And... You need uh, 32 10 ingots in your inventory, 32 10 ingots in your inventory, 16 aluminum ingots in, in your inventory, 1 advanced wafer, that's 1, and 24 iron ingots. And once you have that, I'm in, I'm in creative mode, so you don't need those stuff in your survival, you're going to need these stuff to create to create a uh, space station, so I can click create, so there. Now. I think this works in multiplayer too. People can create their own space stations in multiplayer. So right here. <coughs> <coughs> so this is gonna be your <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. So guys, this is gonna be your space station. It looks like this. So yeah, and if if you don't have a jetpack, it's it's and it's like it, there's mods to add jetpacks like industrial craft. Yeah, so there's mods to add jetpacks. There's add some there's mods to add jetpacks, and if you have them, it's gonna be very easy to move around in space. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna show you how to make a space station. So, yeah. So basically, you're gonna need a, uh. You're gonna need some, uh, blocks. I'm just gonna show you how to make a simple space station. You can build anything, you can build whatever you want in your space station. You can expand it, but you start off with this. Yeah, you start off with this. And there's like some, uh, there's like, uh, some building materials you can use. You're gonna need this. There's vacuum glass. Vacuum glass is like, uh, it's glass that protects you from the outside space and it pr gives you, and it makes like oxygen can't get out of your, sp your space station. So you craft it like this with aluminum ingots and glass, glass like that. And then there's vacuum glass clear, which you just craft regular vacuum glass and tin walls. Like that, that's your craft tin walls. And then there's vacuum, vacuum glass, which is this glass, glass, and tin. Basically, the strong version of vacuum glass. You just need to compress the aluminum like that in glass. If you want uh, the series, the the Galactic Craft tutorial series is in the description. This is part of the 11, I'm pretty sure. And we have to craft vacuum glass strong. So I basically need 10 walls and strong vacuum glass, which I'm pretty sure. Oh, this gives you more. Okay. This is just another way to craft. Okay, guys, so that's 10 walls, 10 walls, and vacuum glass. And. Yeah. So basically, I'm gonna show you how to. We need. I'm gonna get the strongest vacuum glass. 
I'm gonna replace all of okay Basically, it is this strong glass, basically, this cooler glass, more futuristic glass. So, uh... It's really hard to move around in space because you keep, it's like sliding. Yeah, so... That's one window done. Yeah, so basically when you're in space, you'll, uh, speed, you'll start, uh, well, a jetpack, this is going to be really hard from other mods. Like from industrial crafters, jetpacks, from mechanisms, or jetpacks. I'm going to showcase those mods in a little bit. So basically you're just building a base in space. Now so you're going to need a lot of solar panels guys. Like I showed you in a couple of videos how to get solar panels. I'm just showing you how to create a normal space station. That looks ugly. So that's the rocket. That needs to be bigger. And then we're going to need a lock, airlock.
You see there we have the airlock. Yeah, you have an airlock. So that's one airlock. Now I need to make a bunch of airlocks. I need to replace this glass with vacuum glass. Okay, I'm gonna get some vacuum glass. And get some night vision potions. And what is this supposed to be? I don't know what that is supposed to be, but it's pretty cool. This thing is supposed to be water. Using these tin walls are really handy because you're gonna need these tin walls because they keep the oxygen. If you use cobblestone, it won't work. So it's like really handy to use tin walls. Well, I think cobblestone does work, it just looks ugly. Prefer using tin walls. Okay, guys.
You can use regular glass too if you want, guys. I'm just using this. Because it looks much cooler. And there's like some light blocks. There's some light blocks like this arc lamp. Which is you craft like different dash ingots and a battery. And there's a fluid tank too. I'll show you how to make that too. Yeah, and there's supposed to be a oxygen sealer. <clears throat> and we need uh some uh I'm gonna put some uh advanced solar panels.
Okay, so basically that's how you're gonna get power. And you craft these like uh these sealable wire aluminum wires like this. You just craft it with aluminum wire and tin walls. And then you're going to get some uh, trees. So basically that's how you're going to get, you need to plant these trees to get oxygen in your spaceship and you're going to need uh, energy, so you connect the wires to the solar panels and like that, you get power and then you get oxygen. So now if I go into survival mode, I don't take any damage because let's see, if you go in here you take damage, but if you go in here you don't. So you're going to need to put these
So basically, that's how you're going to get your, uh, your, yeah, and you're going to need to put these all around your base, like, you're going to need to put one here. It's really hard to control your, it's really hard to move in space.
Okay. So we're gonna need to plant a lot of these. Okay. So basically that's what a space station should look like. If you want you can make it a little bit bigger yourself. Yeah, so DC, uh, now I have oxygen because of these oxygen sealers. I'll show you how to make one. Show you how to make an oxygen sealer. You need compressed aluminum. Oxygen fan and compressed steel and oxygen vent like this. And this is a shield controller. If you put it in here, you're, uh, you need this. Yeah, so if you put the shield controller, protects you from... It 
It protects you from all, uh, it's basically, uh, it's armor. It's pretty cool. A shield controller. You can't craft it for some reason, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna watch a video. I'm gonna talk about wafers and three aluminum aluminum wire block. Now to make this, you're just gonna need the power see area too big unsealed because it's now counting the infinite uh, space that is out there yeah so the so oxygen sealer sealed, so it needs to be I should you need closed. to connect the it's oxygen and now's a good time since you need oxygen and power and if there's <laughs> if there's any holes in your base your space station like if you break this when there's oxygen around, the oxygen so sealer won't work this red stone. It needs to be sealed. Now, if I break the seal, and all the you see now it's that, sealed. You see that it if you break anything in your base, if you put a hole in your base, in your space station, it, it, it will say that, so and now it says it's you know sealed. Okay, guys? And have all these uh, lights connected to this uh, base station. Wires and repeaters. Now, to make the wire, all you need is four tin wall blocks and a redstone to get four of these. To make the repeater, you need two tin wall blocks and one repeater to get one redstone repeater that is hidden. Now, this block right here coming all the way up there is redstone, uh, the hidden redstone, and it comes all the way over here and connects to these three lamps as well. So, you don't need any redstone wires running along the ground. It's all can be built in to the walls of your space station. So, it's just another awesome way that you can customize. Now, so this is hidden redstone. Now, you craft it like this. Basically, guys, so basically, uh, it's basically redstone, but it's hidden. Let me show you guys. So, let me show you how it works. So, I'm gonna get a stone. Wait, let me see how it works. It's hidden. Now, this block. Okay, so basically, this is how it works. You need to get a lever, any type of redstone stuff, button or lever. And this is how it works. You see, it's just redstone. Normal redstone. And this is just a repeater. They're just repeaters, but retextured from, for these blocks. So that's what it is, guys. And I'm going to show you how to craft it. So, you need hidden redstone. It says 10 blocks and redstone. Hidden redstone repeater. This is this with 10 block, 10 wall blocks and the redstone repeater. Okay, guys. Right here, coming all the way up there, is redstone, uh, the hidden redstone. And so it's just that looks like this. You'll get fucked that you don't get a dealer again. As you can see, it's checking it, and I don't want to spend too long in there. So this control bird it so easier for you to pull. And then it will three empty, very effective anvil. And if, so if you have a few surrounded by take this vacuum glass and place it on the right side, this will allow me to here then apply the, and set this down. Now next we have this chromatic applicator deal, and this will hold up to 60,000 seconds of oxygen. So it is very effective for storing oxygen. Then we have this deconstructor. Now to make this, you're going to need four compressed steel. 
shear, two aluminum wires, and anvil. Yeah, so guys, this is the oxygen uh, uh, holder, simply place your oxygen module. So basically, and then it will separate it into all the parts that you spent. It'll just fill up of so oxygen. That you don't need, you craft it like this, machine. guys. Now next we have this chromatic compressed steel and oxygen tank. Every color is a rainbow, surrounded by compressed steel. And so if you have a few extra rocket anvil and a furnace, and now this, you'll simply place your rocket in here, have a significant power source, and then it will separate it into all the parts that you spent on that rocket. So if you have a few extra rockets that you don't need, and I'm gonna show you the decon the decon. And next we have this chromatic applicator. Now to make this, you're gonna need to take every color of the rainbow. The deconstructor. And you'll get this chromatic applicator. Now, if I go ahead and set this down, this does not take any power whatsoever, but it allows you to paint glass that's already up. So you don't need to place uh, any type of stack Okay, of glass. so you need a power, you need and this is the deconstructor, guys. One of what type of glass in your space so the deconstructor. You so you got this vacuum glass. You craft like this with compressed which, uh, steel, is over on the left one anvil, aluminum wires and shears, compressed steel, and all that. This vacuum glass and place it on the right side. This will allow me okay. to take whatever colors in the center and apply and basically it to this any type of glass that's in the deconstructs space rockets. So I take this line so I'm gonna get this rocket. The color in to make it more green, then apply the paint. You can see that the glass on the right. If you put your rocket in here, it deconstructs it. Apply the paint so it goes back to white. Now if I take this glass, place on the other side and mix the color in, I just make it a darker color. You see, so and it gives you all the recipes so back. Dimes back. You can then see that Wait, does this back. work with? And now if I take this yeah, it works with everything. It's basically the uh uh uncrafting uh, table. Yeah, so it's basically the uh uncrafting table. It's pretty cool. You'll get this electric furnace. Now, if we go ahead and open this up and supply it with this battery, I'm black. This so if I move changed color in the center and to chain any power hold up to now to make this you're going to need a significant power source and then it will separate it into all the parts that you spent on that rocket so if you have a few extra rockets that you don't surrounded by compressed steel and you'll get this chromatic applicator now And this is a chromatic applicator, or whatever it's called, you want to call it. And you craft it like this with every die in a compressed steel in the middle. And this is pretty cool, guys. Because it doesn't need any power. So you can just place on top. And basically, you put, uh... I'm going to show you in a second once I figure out what it does. If I go ahead and set this down, this does not take any power whatsoever. Yeah, it doesn't take any but power, it guys. it allows you to paint glass that is already up. So you don't need to place uh, any type of stack of glass in here, then apply this paint. You just place one of what type of glass in your space station you'd like to paint. So you got this vacuum glass clear, which... Uh, is over on the left side of the screen you'll see it change and then you got this normal vacuum glass which on the right side of the screen will change so if i go ahead and take this vacuum glass and place it on the right side this will allow me to take whatever colors in the center and apply it to any type of glass that's in the space station so if i take this lime dye and mix the color in to make it more green then apply the paint here then apply this paint and set this down now next we have this chromatic applicator. Now to make this, you're gonna need to take every color of the rainbow, surrounded by compressed steel, and you'll get this. Chromatic and all you need is any type of dye you want. I'm gonna pick green dye because I like green. But it allows you to paint glass that is already up. So you don't need to place uh, any type of stack of glass in here, then apply this paint. You just place one of what type of glass in your space station you'd like to paint. So you got this vacuum glass clear. Yeah, you which, basically uh, put all the glasses the in the galactic craft mod. And then you got this normal vacuum glass, which on the right side the screen will change. So if I go ahead and take this vacuum glass and place it on the right side, this will allow me to take whatever colors in the center and apply it to any type of glass that's in the space station. So if I take this lime dye and mix the color in to make it more green, then apply the paint, you can see that the glass on the right changed color. Now I can reset this color and apply the paint again so it goes back to white. Now if I take the same type of glass placed on the other side and mix the color in, I can just make it a darker color. So if I apply this 
So if I move over here and apply this, you can then see that it goes black. And now if I take this vacuum glass and apply this, you can see on the other side it went black as well. So it's just very handy for dyeing uh, any type of glass that you have in your space station. So it's pretty cool. Now moving on to this electric furnace to make this you're going to need to take a normal furnace, two compressed aluminum, and five compressed steel with a basic wafer, you'll get this electric furnace. Now if we go ahead and open this up and supply it with this battery, now this will go at the same speed as a normal furnace, but you can simply just electric so if you want to Yeah, so basically, that thing, uh, if you put... So basically, if you put any type of glass, right now I don't have the glass enabled, but if you put your glass in here, and you apply it, Well guys, it's supposed to paint the the glass, like I showed you in a bit. You're supposed to paint the glass, so that's what it does, guys. You craft like that. With the compressed steel in the middle. Make this, you're gonna need four heavy duty plates for this. And you can get this link section, and then you can. When you hit E when you're crafting something, you'll drop all the stuff that is in your uh, inventory that you put on the crafting table. But with this, when I place it there and hit E, it will stay there because if you were to drop something as this... And also, there's the these lighting panels, guys, so, so these are just decorations, so I'm just going to show you how to craft them. The coolest things you can you craft like this, compressed steel, and then glow a torch. This, you're gonna need four basic wafers, four compressed steels, and a glass. This is kind of like a television. Like that. You click on it, you can get a picture of the Earth, you can get the solar system, you can get uh, your orbits, you can get like Jupiter, that. and you can get this link section. And then you can turn it off and go back through it all. It's all compressed but this steel. this link section is very interesting when you connect it to this telemetry link. And to make this, you need three compressed copper, four compressed tin, one of those frequency modules, and a basic wafer. Now if we go ahead and set this down, as well as I go into game mode zero or survival, and put this frequency module on me, it then picks up the frequency that I'm producing. So it shows my wafers for So this is very useful for crafting. And now we move on to one of the coolest things you can add to your space station, and that is this display screen. To make this, you're gonna need four basic wafers. I'm gonna get a display screen. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you craft it like this guys with compressed steel basic wafers and glass and basically this shows the solar system and planets ok 
Okay. So that's what it does, guys. First fork, nice grape, and so it. But yeah, it's simply just electric. So if I take this vacuum clamp, so this links to and furnace, except very useful. Now, I quickly want to mention these two blocks: this uh, energy storage cluster and this ele electric arc furnace. Now, these. For this energy storage cluster, you can take four of those energy storage modules, four of those compressed steels, and advanced wafer. Now, this holds way more energy than the previous one. This holds 2.5 million energy compared to that 500,000 or whatever. But, unfortunately, both these do not have textures at the moment. Hopefully, they'll update that. And then this electric arc furnace is the same as the other arc furnace, except it is And this is an atomic battery, guys. This is lead. Slots, and it goes... At a faster rate. What you so get on Venus, I'm pretty just, uh, sure. I'm trying to show you Venus in another shoes. video. You need a radioactive like core, which you can't craft. For some reason. Mechanics. Now, first we have this glowstone torch. Now you just make. <coughs> except it is more uh, textures at the moment. Hopefully, now this holds way more. <coughs> And this is the energy storage cluster, guys. Which you craft like this with energy modules and compressed steel and the advanced wafer. This is how you craft compressed steel. And all of the energy storage. Uh, the, the, the energy storage cluster is the highest, highest tier. And entry storage module is the lowest tier. So yeah, basically this just holds. Yeah, so basically it holds your uh your energy. It's like a battery box. It's like a battery. than the previous one. This holds the furnace a little more usable, but torches except it's close. It will light up a massive area, and it can also scare mobs away when you're down. Lights up, uh, just so it is just a super bright lamp. Then we have this lighting panel square. Now this is seven glass panes with a bosun's torch and a compressed steel. And now this just lights up uh, just a square block of a torch, basically, produces the same amount of light. Then we have this lighting panel spotlight. To make this, you need four glass panes, glowstone torch, and a compressed steel. And then this does a much smaller amount of light, so it adds a little bit darker version. Then we have this lighting panel. And then this is the lighting panel. It's just a light panel. It's like a light block. Craft like this, guys. Compressed steel and a glowstone torch. And then this is a lighting panel spotlight. There's another lighting thing, another lighting block. You craft this with glass pane and compressed steel and glowstone torch. And this is a lighting panel liner. So it is craft like this of glass pane and compressed steel and glowstone torch. And then we have this lighting panel dark. It's two glass panes and one glowstone torch and one compressed steel. And this is a lighting panel. Another lighting panel dark. And this is two glass panes and glowstone torch and compressed steel. And this is the arc lamp. It's pretty cool. Well, you can only place in one direction. It's pretty cool. You craft like this with dash ingots, a battery, and glowstone. Same with these carrots, just two carrots. Okay, guys. For watermelons, two melons. For potatoes, two potatoes. And for beef, two ground beef raw. And to make this, you just put a raw beef and you'll get two of these. So this is just works normal food. Just and this is a uh, magnetic crafting table. You craft this like this with compressed platform. iron and, and make this, you're gonna need crafting table. All it does is this. And a basic wafer and you'll get four of them. It now, just holds stuff. Together, it's like a better a crafting table, I'm pretty and sure. I set up this little staircase right here because it works as an yeah. elevator. So if I walk on here, you'll notice it's green, meaning that I'm on it. 
If I press space, it will then make me go up to whatever the platform is. And when I let go, it will settle me down at that platform. Okay. Now if I hit shift, I will go down, and I could stop this platform if I wanted to, whether I'm coming up first or coming down. So you can see it stops there. So it's just a very usable and working elevator. And it's pretty cool. I set up this little arm. Now to make this, you're going to need four pistons. You just put a raw beef and you'll get two of these. So this is just works normal food. Just, uh, it's, well, meant for space. But the cooler thing is this hydraulic platform. Now to make this, you're going to need four pistons, two compressed steel, two gloves and dust, and a basic wafer, and you'll get four of them. Now, if you put four of them together, it will make a platform. And I set up this little staircase right here because it works as an elevator. So if I walk on here, you'll notice it's green, meaning that I'm... And this is a hydraulic space, platform, guys. You craft like this with four pistons, is, two I compressed go, steel, two glowstone dust, and basic I wafer, one well, basic down, and wafer. This platform if I to. And this is what it does, guys. Sorry guys. Now, and basically on. this is so a uh, like you have to make it like on. this guys. This bubble distributor. And make this as it said, make it like that with four of them. Fence, two and then this is So go ahead and set this down and we put uh, an auction source and a power source. You'll see that this blue bubble starts to go around it. Now this will continue to grow and grow and grow until it gets to a pretty decent size. And now if we walk into this, we have oxygen now. So if I go into survival, I don't have any oxygen equipment on me at all. But so basically it's the elevator. If I walk out of this, it'll say warning oxygen setup is invalid. You oxygen see it works like that, guys. You just I'm okay. press so now it's space to go up. You press shift to go down. Okay, guys? And now these can interfere with other bubbles, so you can have this long chain. And you craft it like this. So but you need to four pistons, you one glowstone, press so steel, and then basically. So, uh, but it's just a way to get a nice circle of auction around, and so you can grow trees or any plant life here uh, that you want. So it's very useful yeah. for farming. Now, before I get on to the last thing I'm going to talk about in this mod, I wanted to let I go into survival. I go down I'm on it space at all now to make that I think and so you can grow up or can use these to improve okay so guys that's gonna be it for today's video besides for that I will see you guys in the that's gonna be it for today's video so I hope you like that's gonna be for today's video so I hope you liked the video guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you like the video guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye guys, bye, bye, bye.